If you want to learn step by step on exactly how to set up a Google search ad campaign, then keep watching this video. What is up everybody, Fred Lam here and welcome to my next video on my YouTube channel where today you are in on a special treat. I'm actually gonna head over to my computer to show you step by step on how to set up your first Google search ad campaign that is designed to get you better clicks, more leads and more sales. But before I actually get into this, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I release a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So first thing first, I've recorded several videos that you can actually see that I talked about Google Ads, which I rarely talk about on my YouTube channel. Not that I don't have any experience on Google, it's just that more and more people are asking for Google training because Facebook has been a roller coaster ride. And with that, I decided to actually share my decade of experience when it comes to Google ads to my followers. And if you absolutely love these video trainings, make sure that you drop a comment right down below to actually let me know, and I will do my best to answer every single one of you. So with that being said, in my previous videos, I talked about how Google search ads are designed to go after hyperactive buyers, which are one of the best converting customers that you will get with your traffic. And today, I'm actually gonna show you where you get to watch over my shoulder to see step-by-step -step on how to create a Google Ads campaign. And during the process, I will go into detail on exactly why I clicked on certain things. So with that, I'm gonna head over to my computer right now to actually show you how to create all these. All right, so once you're inside your Google Ads account, the first thing that you wanted to do is either to click the new campaign button over here or click the blue plus sign over here. Once you click on that, then click on new campaign. When you are creating a new campaign, first thing that I always do is when it comes to search ads, I actually create a campaign without goal guidance. Because after all, we don't really need to rely on the pixel to generate the leads or sales for us because our goal is to get in front of those people that are specifically looking for a problem and we actually have a solution or we actually have a product for them that they are literally looking for a review. So with that, I create a campaign about goal guidance. Then I select the search campaign type. I ignore this and then I click on continue. Once I've done so, I give it a name. Now, when it comes to the campaign, you gotta make sure that your campaign should only have one outcome. So if your campaign is to generate leads, then it's gotta use that same landing page and obviously same outcome, which is having those leads. If you're selling products, then each product should have its own campaign. Keep that in mind. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it the Fred Lamb demo. And now under networks, as I said before in the past, even if you choose the search campaign, your ads will also show up inside the display network. And we want to make sure that we have that eliminated. So make sure that you uncheck this, all right? And again, don't worry about the recommendation, all right? Just ignore this, just keep it as Google search and its partners, all right? Then scroll down and under the location, you want to actually go after one location at a time. So if you are a local business, you can actually just put in the address and then going after a certain radius mile. If you are an online brand selling to the entire world, you definitely want to go after one country at a time, all right? Don't have multiple countries into one campaign. Make sure that you break them up. Next, under languages, make sure that English is selected. If there's nothing on here, then make sure that you type English and select English, 
all right? Next, when it comes to budget, you can put in whatever you want. Put in 10, 20, um, again, just put in whatever budget that you are comfortable with and going from there. Now, when it comes to the bidding, I have a completely different approach when it comes to the search ads campaign because ultimately, I want to actually control what my cost per click is going to be. I don't need Google to help me optimize for my listing. After all, I can actually see exactly what keywords are working for me, what cost per click I can afford, and how much traffic I'm actually getting from those keywords. So with that, I actually always change this into select a bit strategy directly. So I change the strategy and I always go to manual cost per click so that that way I'm literally controlling my cost per click. But at the same time, I ensure that I have enhanced cost per click to actually optimize for conversions as well. So I'm actually having a semi manual approach with this. All right. So again, going over here, I'm going to show more again, just leaving all this as is. And again, ad extension is important for search campaign. We can talk about this in another video, but at the end of the day, what ad extension is, is that you're basically taking up more spaces from your ads by adding site links, by adding call extensions, by calling call extensions, so that your ad is actually taking up more space and more predominant in the search engine results. But again, we're gonna talk about this in the future. We're gonna skip this right now and click on save and continue. Once you have done so, you'll be brought into the ad group. So the ad group is essentially, what are the keywords that you actually want to have your ads to trigger? Now, when it comes to ad group, I always categorize my ad group. You can have multiple ad groups under your campaign, which is fine. So let me actually explain this a little bit further. Let's say that you, are selling a particular product or service, and let's say that you're selling a pen, right? Now, again, when it comes to a pen, and this is a black ball pen, what I can do is I can create an ad group that is specific about black ball pen. But at the end of the day, this could also be a drawing pen. So I can actually create a second ad group going after all keywords related to drawing pen. So then again, I'm not putting the drawing pen and the black ball pen into one ad group. I separate it out because it's a different category and people looking for these products are going to be different and the ad message that we want should also be different as well. So with that, again, I'm just going to let's say that I'm going to bid my own name, Fred Lamb. And the default bid, I usually start with a dollar just to see where things are at. All right. So again, if I don't have traffic, I don't have impression, I can increase the budget. If I'm getting a lot of traffic and I'm not getting conversions, I can decrease it and I really just control my bid at this round. So now when it comes to the keyword, as I said before, you don't want to go after phrase match, which is just going like this. Never do that. You want to go after exact match and phrase match. Now you don't necessarily need to actually have like a lot of keywords in here. A lot of people say, you're going to have so many keywords into your keyword list. It doesn't matter. Just go after the core ones, all right? Five, six, or even 10 at max. But make sure that they are exact match and phrase match as well. So once you actually have done this, then you click on save and continue, and you get to actually create the ad. These are the ads that trigger when someone actually search for whatever keywords in your keyword list. So when it comes to Google search ads, one of the most important thing is relevancy. So whatever keyword you have in your keyword list under your ad group, your ad must have those keywords in there. And you got to have it in the headline once and actually in the description once. And that's going to actually help you with your click through rates. And in fact, Google will even bold those keywords when a consumer or a person actually search in a search query. So in this example, I'm just going to make something. I'm not going to create the ad. I'm just going to fretlam.com. So in the first headline, I always have something. So learn from Fred Lam for free. And then I can actually say um, sign up for free now to uh, 
get your free access. And again, one thing that I always do when it comes to the copywriting for this, I always capitalize the first letter of each word. It actually helps improve the click-through rate. All right. So here, again, I will fill out probably at least three different variations um, to let Google really test out which variation works the best. So I can actually say, um, learn drop shipping with red lamb. Oh, too long. Um, I don't know, I'm just making something up right now. So as long as I have word in there, it's fine. And then under description, I'll be like, um, get your free access to Fred Lamb to learn how you can build a online store to profit online. Okay, how you can build a build an online store to profit. All right. Um, and then here, learn everything from Fred uh, for pennies on the dollar. Get your free access now. Okay, so again, I, I put in a lot of call to actions in the ad because it's important. You got to tell the person specifically what to do. However, you cannot say click here in your ad. Very important stuff, all right? There's actually a lot of tips when it comes to writing ads, but again, I'm just showing you step-by-step step on how to set up your ad. Afterwards, all you gotta do is click on save and continue, and you're done. But you gotta remember, your campaign should have one outcome. One product or one outcome, whatever lead generation you're in, your keyword list should be grouped together, and whatever keyword you have in your ad group must be shown on the ad, all right? And if you're able to actually do all three, your click-through rate will definitely skyrocket at the same time. And in a nutshell, it's really that easy. That's how you do a Google search ads that is going to actually attract hyperactive buyer for your business. All right, there you have it. This is exactly what you need to do to create your first Google search ad campaign. Now, listen, definitely bookmark this page. And when you are ready to create your Google ads, make sure that you simply follow the training and actually implement your Google ads campaign. Now with that, I also recently shared three different strategies when it comes to Google search ads. If you haven't watched that video, make sure that you click over here to actually start watching the three strategies that we use when it comes to Google search ads. So with that, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment right down below and make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so that each time I have a brand new video, you're gonna get notified right away. So with that, till next time.